What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Megan Good. Uh, this is going to be an extended video from commentary I did just did about NLE Chop and that whole situation about him trying to uh, shoot a shot with Megan Good and how she turned him down. You know, he called her when she was on a podcast, the Hollywood Unlocked podcast, or he was being interviewed and she hung up on him, which is embarrassing, right? And that happened to him while he was trying to shoot his shot. Now, it still looks to me like he is trying to get at Megan Good. And I'm going to talk about why she reacted so strongly to him trying to holler at her. You know, NLE Chopper, he's, he's a 20-year-old rapper. He's a guy that must have a thing for older women because his newest ex-girlfriend is 26 and he's 20 and i believe she's pregnant by him and you know a lot of these guys now who used to see megan good as a wife uh they don't see that her as that they see her as a short-term hookup girlfriend i think she she knows this that's why she reacted the way she did on the phone with nle chopper when he was on that show she only she knows that a lot of these guys, they they used to see her. It's just like with uh, Aisha Curry. You know, Aisha Curry was a female that was sought to be wife material uh, to, you know, and she still is, but she wanted to change her image. Just like Megan Good wanted to leave the good girl, good wife image behind and embrace the streets. I mean, you look at her social media, She's ramping it up with the sexiness. Nothing is wrong with that. But you could tell that she looked more and more uncomfortable being married to Devon Franklin. And that's why she chose to get out of that marriage because she felt like she couldn't do it anymore. And because she felt like she couldn't do it anymore, she all of a sudden wanted out of this marriage with a guy that chose to marry her. It wasn't a bunch of guys out here you know, looking to, to marry Megan good. <laughs> it wasn't. And she would even tell you that she was in a, a very bad place in her life personally. When she got with Devon Franklin, he sort of saved her, so to speak. And now she's in a situation where men are only going to see her as somebody to smash, not necessarily to wife up, but that is of these women's doing. You know, I put her in the same category that I would put the Black Chinas, even though Black China's trying to go in reverse, you know, Black China's trying to leave the streets, trying to leave that, you know, that lifestyle she had behind, you know, getting rid of the implants and, and trying to reverse things that she's done to her body. I believe she's gotten tattoos removed, trying to reverse her image because she knows, she knows that you know, she's done out here. These rappers are not checking for her and she needs, she needs to do something. And that's why she's going through this conversion, whether people want to believe it or not. She's going through this change that she feels like is going to benefit her. You could put her in the same category of a, of a who, a Amber Rose. <laughs> you know, when is Amber Rose going to see the light? When is she going to go to Jesus? Maybe not, maybe never, you know, women like that, uh, they are who they are. And I think she's accepted who she is. And, and she knows that, you know, the guys that she want, don't want her back. And that's why she's gotten as bitter as she's gotten. Right. But let's go back to NLE Chopper, you know, NLE Chopper. And again, I, I made a video about, uh, his girlfriend putting him on blasts for being a bad father to her unborn child because he's out here trying to date Megan Good or trying to at least smash Megan Good, right? Because that's what Megan Good is gonna become. She's gonna become a conquest for a lot of these guys. Now you look at NLE Chopper, he's 20 years old and she spoke to TMZ about it. I think she liked the attention she got from it. That's how it seemed to me. It seemed to me that she liked the attention that she was getting from the fact that she had this interaction with this rapper. Because what other rappers, like, think about it. Besides NLE Chopper, what other rappers, at least the 
mainstream rappers are openly campaigning for Megan Good. None of them, except him. You know, except him. But he's the only one. And then when she was speaking to TMZ, it, you could tell like she was enjoying the fact that TMZ is interviewing her about a rapper that likes her. Now, honestly, when I look at how her marriage with Devon Franklin ended, it made her look bad. Cause it looked to me like she didn't even want to go to court to negotiate the end of the marriage. She just let things fall the way they did. And that's why he basically got the judgment he got because she didn't even try to contest. She didn't go into, to try to finalize things herself. She put all the, she put all everything on him. It was clearly a woman that had checked out of the marriage years ago, but this is what I want to say to a lot of you married women like a Megan good that who are ready to check out of their marriage and you're over the age of 40, what exactly do you think you're gonna find out here? This is what I wanna know. To all you women that are ready to divorce your husbands, uh, what are you looking for out here? Because all you're gonna get is a bunch of guys that's looking to smash. And no matter how attractive you, 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 you may still be and, and what you're trying to portray yourself on social media, no matter what surgeries you get, you're gonna get uh, these men are only going to see you a certain way. A lot of these chicks have lost the opportunity to be in a healthy long-term marriage because they, they got, they get that calling from the streets and they just got to go, right? They just got to go and see what's out there. Cause they always think that something better is out there. They always think something better is out there. Honestly, I don't even think that Megan Good ever wanted marriage. I really don't. I don't think she's ever wanted marriage. I think that that happened while she was with Devon and doing her healing, so to speak. That's when she married Devon. But I think that she might have held some resentment because maybe she felt like at the time she did it to appease him because she didn't want to lose him. But that, that's not what she wanted because she realized the restrictions that came in marriages. See, when you're in a marriage, you have to devote yourself to that marriage. You can't be out here slurring it up in these streets on social media. You're, you're married to a pastor. I think that bothered her because she felt like she was confined to a certain image. And most of these liberal minded women hate to be confined to a, a certain standard. They want to be, they want to live single while being married. And there's no different with Megan Good. Megan Good wanted to live single while being married. And she realized that she's married to a pastor. And there are certain things as far as his image is concerned that he didn't want to be put out here as if he did not have control over his household. And you can tell that weighed on her. And the op first opportunity that she got to get out of that marriage, she did that. That's the majority of married women these days. They bide their time and then they leave thinking that better is out there and better is never out there. I'm not saying that you should never leave a marriage that you're unhappy in, but the way you leave it, you know, she left, she left Devon Franklin in shambles. You know, he had to pick himself up and move on. He thought that he was helping her. He thought that he was helping to heal her. And maybe he thought that he would have a dutiful wife long term. That was not in the plans for Megan Good. Megan Good wants to be a Hollywood actress, but she also wants to be single and do her. She does not want to be confined to a marriage and marital standards. But a lot of you women who want a ring, you're going to have to live by a certain standard. You just can't be out here wilding out. But see, that's the thing. They, they don't want any rules to apply to them. Megan Good felt embarrassed about NLE Choppa trying to holler at her because in her mind, she's thinking that these A-list, maybe B-list actors may try to get at her. Maybe some of the top tier rappers, the well-known guys, right? She's dated a few rappers before. Maybe those guys, none of those guys, right? You got a 20 year old rapper who has a thing for older women that's hollering at her. She's probably never even listened to his music. 
And she, in that moment, she felt like she could do better, but can she? Like, what exactly are you out here for? And she was like excited about being single again, right? But these would be the same women talking about they want a wedding and they want a ring and, you know, they want a family, but you had that opportunity and you threw it away because you wanted to be in these streets again. There may come a time where she regrets this, but she feels like she made the best decision for her. So who am I to sit here and tell her that she can't make this decision? Well, when I look at a woman who clearly is whose dating life is struggling, because it's struggling, come on, it's struggling. And the best she can do is the Italy Chapa. That you know that 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 would you know maybe she's dealing with somebody very privately that she doesn't want put out there. I would say to myself, if if you know I'm speaking to her, I would say, listen, what is the point of being single if you're secretly dating somebody? You know, but again, we don't know these people. We don't know their motives or what they have, you know, deep down inside that's going to drive them to make the decisions that they make. Because ultimately, it's up to them whether their marriages or relationships work. I just want them to know it's not going to be that easy to just find another guy who's willing to marry you. Because not a lot of men out here are willing to marry older women. It's just not. No matter how attractive they may be. So let me stay in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you all next time.